Good morning. Hang on. We're back and we're showered. Um, I thought I would just come on here and have a little chip wag with you guys. A little chat. A little... I don't know. Just about stuff that's been going on. Updates. I've actually got a really, really fun day planned with um, my mum and my sister. So we're going to Blackfoot Barn. This is quite sort of niche to Suffolk people. If you live in Suffolk, in the UK obviously, um, then you'll know where Blackfoot Barn is. They have like a Christmas sort of vibe going on around now and they always have like little stalls i think they have stalls anyway i've only been there once and that was not last year the year before so 2019 i think i went and we had like a little tour around there and you could like pick christmas trees and things like that we went into like a christmas shop um but i'm really excited to see what it looks like today um and see what we get up to we're also going to be going to a couple of shops in a village that's like i'm here and it's like up there in like a village, hang on, Bacton Way, it's, um, that's it, Weathering Set, Emzo, that's it, it's a place called Emzo, and apparently, according to Guy's sister, there's some very, very saucy, um, bits and pieces there, so we're gonna go there as well, I said to mum and Meg, so I'm going with mum and Meg, and I said, whilst we're there, we might as well go there, but yeah, I just thought I'd have a little, thought I'd just have a little chat with you lads, and see what's going on, are you guys getting into the Christmas spirit, what's going on, also, this nip and fab stuff, I got sent some nip and fab, I've never tried it before in my life, I, I actually really rate it, um, this one I've been using is the nip and fab renew, protect and replenish anti-redness spf and moisturizer won't lie to you the first time i didn't read the fact that there was moisturizer in there and i've been putting on moisturizer on top of this so i had like my moisturizer on and then i'd put this on abby is really good at skincare she really understands skincare they also got me a couple of other bits and pieces so i had to like fill out a like form about what my like skin type is like and the sort of like skin goals that I wanted and then they literally just sent me stuff for my skin and I love that something that's like I don't have to do anything you literally just pop in what your skin's like what you'd like it to do and then they just send it is magnificent and now that I know the stuff that they have sent now I know what I need I can then then go back and buy it again done do you know what I mean I wish that probably is a thing. I haven't really, you guys know I'm not really much of a skincare person or like a beauty sort of person over here. That's because I don't know a lot about it. I'm not about to start preaching to you guys about XYZ brand when um, I don't know a lot about it, like skincare wise particularly. Beauty, I can, no worries. I can smack some foundation on. I can do some eyeliner, no worries. Um, but skincare for me is not my forte and it's really funny because all the girls are always like it's actually scary how much you don't know about skincare and I'm like as a 23 year old I should probably know more about it but you know I just I like the idea of someone just giving me a questionnaire what's your skin like and me to just go oh yeah it's like this and then to go okay well you need these products and be like, okay nice Done, finished. What else has been hip hop happening? Well, I got my hair done as well um, a couple of weeks ago. I think it's already debuted on here actually. The last video that went live on here, at the minute, the last video that went live on here does debut my new hair. I bloody love it. So I have balayage normally, normally always have a balayage, and I, wait a minute, my foundation's, wait, wait a moment sir, wait a moment. What was I even talking about? I can't remember. Should we go back to Christmas? So we're having a Christmassy day. I'm meeting up with my sister and my mum in the afternoon. I have got a meeting with Leah, my manager. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna be like, this is what's going on. This is what's going on in my life. This is what I wanna do. I'm gonna have a little, little sesh. And um, then I'm gonna meet up with mum and my sister gonna go go to go blackfoot barn maybe grab some lunch probably grab some lunch because i'll be starving by that point um talking about starving as well oh my god i'll show you once i don't look like that kid covered in chocolate is it chocolate or caramel that is chocolate in he goes there i always feel like that whenever i like sponge my foundation on i always feel 
briefly a bit caked what time is a decent time to put your tree up because me and guy i think i've already said to you guys i've me and guy have already bought our christmas tree we bought it a couple of weeks ago from dunelm um i'll show you it downstairs actually it's not out of the box it's still in the box so you'll have to see it in the box the box um and then we got some other like bits and pieces as well um to put on the tree other like decks as well that i really like um as well when i went to york to see alexa so alexa's in uni Alexa's at uni in York and I went and saw her last weekend and oh my god it is an amazing city if you guys have been to Edinburgh it's basically like a carbon copy of Edinburgh pardon me also for the Suffolk ladies I always feel like it kind of has lavenum thrown up with berry make it a city if that makes any sort of sense to any of you lavenum and berry had a baby and they made York a fat fat city i've got to keep going off track sorry brownie god have just messaged me back <laughs> because basically so no let's go back to york so i went to york with alexa went up and met her the trains this is why i drive people so i went through a really brief sort of like stint of going on trains because we had the petrol crisis and everyone freaked out about the petrol um so i started going to um going to edinburgh i started going to london via train because it was easier and because of the whole petrol thing i was like i'm not gonna have enough petrol to get there i want to use my petrol wisely because i don't know when i'm gonna be able to fill up so i started taking the train all was well with london all is fine all is good and then i went to uh, edinburgh i keep saying edinburgh i went to york and i went via peterborough so you have to get dropped off at peterborough and then from peterborough you take the lner train to your designated section it does go to edinburgh but i went obviously to york and then there was like leeds as well i think was on that train yeah it was just a very big palaver and if i wasn't in the right headspace i think i would have had a meltdown um because they are so awful oh my god so on the way down i spoke to a really lovely lady oh my god i love it when that happens it's so like wholesome and cute but um basically on the way up my train from my town to peterborough um was delayed because of like a goods train and it was going really slow we ended up instead of having 20 minutes in between my trains having five minutes bear in mind that i've never been to the peterborough train station before i had no fucking idea and as well on the app that i have and even on the tickets that you have they don't tell you what platform you're gonna be on so you come off the x platform you don't know what platform it is or where you are you get onto that platform and it's like right okay now i need to find a screen to find out which platform i'm gonna be on so i tried like googling it and so it then told me i think it was like platform five or something like that so I got off the platform and I had to go up all the stairs with a suitcase and the fattest tote you've ever seen, by the way. So I was doing some fat lifting. Down up the stairs, went round, come back down again and the train was there. It was ready. And um, luckily the people on the train, we kicked up much of a, so much of a fuss because there were so many of us that were um, needing to get that train that they made it like stop for like two minutes or something like that, like a couple of minutes. And um, so that allowed us to get off and like run to the train to then get on. Um, so done that and I managed to get there perfectly fine. But fuck me, trains are such a pain in the ass. Like I would drive if I wasn't by myself having to drive for like four hours because I'm fine like driving to London, but for four hours by yourself in the car, bit lonely. I think, you know, I can get a decent playlist, but after two hours, I'm ready for socialization. Like I'm ready to, to do something with someone. Yeah, no, that whole like palaver was just awful. The woman, oh my God, so the woman on the train on the way there was so lovely. So I was frantically trying to find a space to sit down and there was this table and this like lovely older woman was there. I think she said she was like 53. And she was so, so sweet. She didn't have like 
any music in or anything she wasn't on her phone like she had her phone there and i had my phone there and i had like one of my ear, ear things in she did start like talking and i was like oh this is kind of cute after a while we just got sat and we're like talking for the whole way to peterborough and i actually got a bit sad having to leave her because she was going to leeds to see her daughter for the weekend or something no i think it was literally just a day trip i like it when it's that sort of like wholesome i don't know she was really lovely and she got talking about her like i think it was like a ceramic business on instagram and we both now follow each other on instagram because i told her like what i did for a job and i was like oh my god it's gonna be so awkward trying to tell her what i do for a job but she actually like didn't she was like oh my god that's amazing da, 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 da. like she was really really lovely about it and i was like she's like a new auntie like she's my auntie now kathy you're my auntie hang on i need to stop talking whilst i do my eyeliner hang on all right that's one done sorry i need to like i have to like stop breathing and stop talking completely and i have to just completely focus on my eyeliner because sometimes like you'll rush it and it'll end up going way everywhere very wholesome experience and it made my experience going up there very nice um so the friday i got to alexa's at about half one met up with her at about two um because her buses were awful see this is public transport relying on public transport awful yeah so i met up with her and she was like how are you feeling and i was like fine so we went into town oh my god i absolutely love it so we went into the shambles which is like a markety sort of thing um as well as like they've got loads of like little shops in there they've got a lot of like harry potter bits and pieces for all you harry potter stands and they also had like lots of like christmasy shops as well oh my god i got the cutest bauble as well it was expensive but i thought to myself as we're in york and i'm getting a york bauble therefore I thought it would be quite nice so I'll show you the baubles when we get downstairs I'll show you the other bits and pieces I got from Dunelm as well when we bought the Christmas tree because I don't think I've shown you guys and I think it'd be quite nice quite cute and quite nice because I don't show a lot of like home content and um you know when we moved in I showed quite a bit but like I'm predominantly fashion and I always assume that people just follow me for that and they're not going to be interested in a Christmas tree but you will be interested in the Christmas tree, I'll make you. I'll make you interested in a Christmas tree because this was so cheap as well. It was like 18 pounds for a Christmas tree from Dunelm. Very cheap, we love to see it. The bauble though, from that Christmas shop, not so much. It was like 12 or 13 pounds for the bauble. Nah, it's, it's a York bauble. It'll be really nice. Oh, also I got this nice like Bare Minerals not me being a beauty blogger look <laughs> lipstick thing it's in shave shave it's in shave love and i really really like it it's just like a sort of nudie sort of thing i don't normally like um lipsticks to be too like pigmented i don't like something that's like boom i'm wearing lipstick um ta -da! so it's just like a little subtle she's wearing something but like it's subtle and then we went back to um Alexa's accommodation. Look at me trying to talk to you whilst my hair looks like this. Oh my god. We went to Alexa's accommodation um, at uni and then we got a takeaway and then Saturday was another sort of like chill day. She had like some assignments she still had to do and um, so we had a quite a chill day. We went to bed really late to be fair and then we woke up really late so that was good that we did have just like a chill day. The Saturday night, wine and dine each other. We wanted to go to ZZ's but obviously ZZ had had the DL that I was coming and that I have a card so they'd closed like the entirety of me being down there so I was like rats can't get free ZZ's oh my god so we went to Pizza Hut instead yeah and then we went to the cinema and watched Spencer Spencer is like uh the Princess Diana uh, Kristen, Kristen Stewart's in it I didn't realize she was in it <laughs> until about 10 minutes into it and I was like I look like Kristen Stewart and Alexa was like did you seriously not know that was Kristen Stewart I was like alas no I did not she did so well in that like her acting was top notch like she did magnificent in that I wasn't really sure on the whole like storyline thing I know that sounds really weird because obviously it was her life and these are like events that actually happened but like it didn't really give anything like you kind of like followed a Christmas and a particular year of Diana's life and I was like okay this would be cool nice I didn't really like watch the trailer or anything so I didn't really know what 
we had in store for us. Um, I was just like, oh, it's Diana. Love Diana. Let's let's go and do that. Lovely. In hindsight, I wish I had. If Kristen Stewart hadn't done such a job, I think I would just been like, Alexa, should we just leave? Because it just didn't really give you anything. Like there was obviously. It, there was a story because you were just following her Christmas at the at the Royals, but like I just uh, it did I didn't come away and be like, car oh, that was a really good film. Like I prefer The Crown. I know they are all like adaptations to what actually happened. Like they aren't actually um, real, but I feel like I prefer The Crown, which I did actually see Diana's like best mate supposedly. Um, has basically she's like disassociated herself with the crown because she doesn't like how they've like portrayed her in the upcoming season so I'll be very interested to see how they have after that on the Sunday so that was like the last day and we planned so much in that day got up got into the city got into town went and had the glory the pff, most sexiest bakery I have ever been into. I'll put up the Instagram, but oh my God, their pastries were to die for. I actually wanted to cry. They were humongous, absolutely humongous. Am I all straight at the back? Let me know. Yeah, they were absolutely gorgeous so if you guys are that way you definitely have to check them out if you have time and then we went to harry potter hole in one pot in hole i can't remember for the life of me what it was called but it was um basically like a like mini golfy sort of thing and um i really enjoyed that that was really fun um you had to find i think you had to find dobby it looked like dobby but it wasn't it was a gremlin sort of thing it was like a um gargoyle or something and then we like pissed around a bit so we went round and did a little bit more like touristy sort of bits and pieces the minster oh my god it's gorgeous i kept staring at it and i kept getting pictures of it and i just could have le looked at it all day it was absolutely gorgeous i kept looking at it like oh my god that's an actual building we went and done some pottery and i won't tell you where it was because i didn't really rate it they were a bit off we sat down we decided on our pots and whatever and um, I got some like houses um, and painted some like little houses which I'm really excited to get back the way that they were were very like they didn't want us and if you didn't want us you shouldn't have had a 3 p.m. slot and then we went home and what did we have then I think we had a Byron burger it would be very magical at Christmas I do strongly suggest that you take a trip to York it is absolutely gorgeous if you live like more London way as well they literally had like a direct train from King's Cross I want to say literally to Edinburgh so you could just hop on the train shum, zoom to York boom done also I also 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 separate completely different I wanted to show you these brownie gods that I got um from the girls so I don't know if you guys follow me but over on Instagram I just hit 100k makes me feel a bit sick yes I keep looking at it and I'm like good god that's a number that's a number that is that is on my Instagram um, and they sent me a brownie god. Well, actually, Leah sent me a brownie god and so did the girls. So I'll open up this one first. They just know that I love a brownie god. I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, so this one's the one from Leah. It says, oh God, when the beads will come off. Oh, five second rule. This one says, mid-sized gal, 100k. I love it so much. I love the colours as well. Oh my god. If you guys haven't had a brownie god for any like occasion that you might have coming up, a Christmas, a birthday, any sort of like milestone, get one for your mate, for yourself. Get someone to buy it for you because they are gorgeous. You can change the different um, colours and like the background and stuff like that. Like all the icing, you can change all that. And then this one's from the girlies. So thank you, Leah. I don't think she watches my YouTube, but thank you, Leah. Um, and then got a little note. It says mid-sized gal slash Mick Mouse herself. Congratulations on 100K. You have so girl boss. Love from your internet friends. Maria J Blogs, Jess L King, uh, Amy Astrid, Start by Chloe and Alexa Dion. And it says... <laughs> 
<laughs> it says girl boss to 200k and I absolutely love that. It's quite a big meme for us to say girl boss um, and it's quite funny because uh, Chloe did like an Instagram um, question saying like what annoys you about influencers and one of them was uh, someone put something like using the term girl boss I'm all about feminism and da 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 but girl boss why the fuck do you use it it's funny I, I, we use it ironically and this has just now become part of our vocabulary you guys know that if you've been watching any of my videos i say girl boss a lot i don't mean it in like a oh yeah girl boss like i don't mean it intentionally like in the correct way i'm saying it ironically i'm not saying it seriously we all say it as a joke we're going to jess and chloe's we're going to girl boss towers i've already said this in another vlog like it's just it's a joke it's not anything that to be like oh why do i keep saying girl boss like get a grip it's not it's not that deep so yes that is that can't wait to inhale those i think i'm going to take one to mums so they can help me eat one of them because i can't have two I will actually die. I, I will die and become a brownie. So, shall we quickly, hang on, let me go and show you the Christmas bits and pieces that I've got downstairs. Before I show you the Christmas trees, I had to show you my pumpkins. They're still in really good nick. They're really hard. And um, hang on, let me show you the other ones as well. Look, they're all still rock hard. They've lasted weeks. I went the week before Halloween and they are still rock hard. So, Christmas tree. We've got this girly. So, this one's from Dunelm. It's I'm number one. It says number one there. And it's a six foot essentials tree. And it's just a little, little standard one. It's going to look really cute down here. Okay, and then I shall show you the baubles and bits and pieces that I got from York as well. First of all, I've got to show you probably the scariest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a gingerbread man, gonk. I've got my first gonk. Um, we were in Primark in Norwich last week. I was with Meg and Lucy and we saw some gonks and Guy actually messaged and said, no, we need the gingerbread man. So there he is in all his glory. I sent him a picture of this, like this. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. So most of these are done Elm, but the ones from York, I'll quickly show you. So, the expensive one, oh my god. So this one, as I said, was $12.95. But look at it, it kind of matches my jumper, doesn't it? Look, I really, really liked it, and I thought that it sort of like matched my rug as well. I've got all those sort of colours in my rug, and I think it'll kind of go with anything. We then went into Tiger, and Tiger actually had some really nice baubles. They were really, really sweet. So, one was this one which I thought was really, really sweet, look. It's like a little, fer it's not a Ferris wheel. Um, I can't remember what they're called, it's gone. Um, but they were literally like two pounds each or something like that. I wanted different ones as well. I didn't want them to just be like normal baubles. I wanted some like obnoxious ones. So this is also quite obnoxious. We've got a little like, is it satin? I think that's what they're supposed to look like. But it's got like a little rainbow thing here. Looks quite cool. Different. A different sort. And then the last one I got was this one, which just says, um, let Christmas be gin. Because me and Guy both like gin. And I thought it just would look quite nice on the tree. I'll quickly show you the other baubles I got from Dunelm. Because you are flashing red. So now I'm starting to panic. First of all, we got these two. I got two of both of these. It's a lovely, like, light pink. Again, it goes with my rug. I really wanted the colours to kind of go with my rug. So it all kind of, like, tied in together. Greeny blue that it's got. Um, and this was £3.50. I've got two of those. And this one was £4. Quite more expensive, I think. But I got two. This two-pack of baubles. I really like the sort of like pink and gold effect. These were five pounds, so like two pound fifty each, which is really good. Got two of those, which I really, really liked. We then got two of these sort of like pearly, what do they call it? Iridescent glass bauble. And it's sort of like more of a snowy sort of effect, which I really, really liked. And this was two pounds, got two of those. And then, what else we got in here? Oh, this is another York bauble I got. 
just got a little snowman which i thought was really really sweet it was just like on one of the stalls in the shambles and i really, really liked it so yeah we've got quite a a different array that's all the baubles i then got some extra ones because i'm not sure how many it's going to take to fill up the the christmas tree i might have enough just sat there um but i got like a little pack i think they were like yeah five pounds for 40 because you don't know how many you're gonna need oh my god also we haven't got a star or an angel or anything i also got this little house you put like a little candle in it i might put like a little fake one in it no no wait it's already got like a light in it and you put it on so i'm gonna have to unscrew this and maybe put a battery in it yeah it's battery powered i've got to put a battery in it but i just thought it looked really cute and guy was like oh, i don't really like that i was like fuck off this is going on the window ledge and i'm really gonna like it if not i'll whack it upstairs i also got some infinity star string lights um they've got look they're just like a little like inside the star they've got like leds which is really cute Mum, you don't need any more gonks. No, no. Mum told me just now that she has 17. Go on. Oh, fuck off. I just want that Please. Why you baby ones? You don't need an 18th. I do. You don't need an 18th. Please help this woman. Please help this woman. He's actually rather sweet. She is rather sweet. But you have 17. So? <laughs> oh, my cute. Wow. wow! Oh wow! Wow, love him! <laughs> it's only a tenner. Tenna. He's cute. No, you, dinosaurs aren't Christmas, Meg. Dinosaurs aren't it's just for Christmas, so. Meg. Mum, hello. Mum, hello. She's going to buy 20. No. She's going to have 20 by the end of today. I'm a bit fussy with them. I like them to be a grit grey. Look. Oh, look, the little penguin in his little bauble. Oh, look, you've actually got polar bears there. Oh, it's a polar bear's bum. Oh, I like polar bear's you. bottom. Megan, don't touch it, don't touch it. Oh, I like. Oh, mum, look. Flipping love you. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah. I like these. These are really cute. Oh, he's quite cute. Oh, they've got them on like. Oh, oh, I really like that one of those. Of fifty these ones. I've got a silver one, haven't I? I thought oh you did. God. Is that from Tesco's or I like the little Santa and this little Rudolph? I don't know if I need a little Rudolph. Or Rudolph. I like these little hanging lads. Look up here. Look. Oh, mm, like their little swing. Oh my smell. God. It's mm. just Christmas candles. Cool. <laughs> That's green woodland. That, smell? that does smell good. That smells like soap. Something smells very like. It's something cinnamony. Mm. What is it? Essential it's oils. That. Oh wow! Nice. Go on. Christ, yeah, that's orange spice. That one. Is it? Is it? Yeah, I really like that. That's nice. Yeah, I don't really like yeah, spicy sort of scents though. Oh, you've got nutcrackers up here. They're Christ nutcrackers, aren't Christmas. they? Yeah. All right then, that's it. Got Xmas on it. Little old lad there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you haven't got a fireplace or anything ever, have you? I want one of these that hang up. Yeah, not that one then. Oh, look at that. Did he? A nutcracker? I think it's good you're here because I would have just bought them. I love the baubles. A lioness. Oh, it's a lion as well. Oh, here we are. This is where mum decides to be. This is the place I'd put you. Oh my god, these have got little fucking... Are they pigeons or robins in there? What is it? 
Is that a pigeon or a robin? It's not a robin, I don't know what it is. Pigeon? Pigeon, it could be a pigeon. Pigeon? Oh, look at that. Christ, that will impale you. Look at the state of that. Stunning. That will impale you. Mm. Our tree. We haven't got anything to the tree. I'm not putting her on the top of my tree. No. She'd set my house on fire. She looks scary. Christ. Meg, do you want a kick about with one of them? Kick about. <laughs> Talk to the poor. He doesn't. <laughs> Talk to the poor. Talk to the poor. Oh, oh Mum, you need to get Maya oh, for the Christmas tree. Get Maya in the Christmas tree. Christmas tissues. Yeah. Oh, Mum, don't you want like a little name for your Christmas tree as well? Don't, don't kick it. Just kick it. Yeah, it looks like. Do you want to kick about with the robin? This is really nice. I like that. Do you want a hedgehog? No, not today. You sure? Look, it's sat there looking pretty for you. That looks fucking scary. It does. Sorry, have you seen that? Do you want to kick about? Do you want to kick about with it? Oh god. This. This. That looks fucking scary. That's pretty, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Please get this woman away. Get this woman away from here. For the garden. She's gone insane. She's gone insane, help. Please, no, please. Sorry. How nice and cosy does this look? Sweet corn. They've got bloody Sweet garlic corn. baubles. I want some sort of like obnoxious baubles. Look, there's a sardine tin. I want these sort of like really funny good. ones. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, ones. Oh, I like them. They're sort of like cookie. Cookie sort of vibes. Mum's got the 18th gonk in the bag, no worries, no worries. I have as well, look at him look. Just sat there. Just gonna... Cheeky boy. Cheeky boy. We've come into the range by the way, I didn't actually say that. What have you got to say Meg, what have you got to say today? I spent a lot of money here on balls. Lovely. <laughs> uh, what you want to go this way yeah, for? Yeah, she's got to do everything. God, that scares me. This looks correct. Oh my okay. god! Look, we'll do you got to get a sausage dog. Go, I love that. Oh look! It looks like that? the M and S. Yeah. Did you get a bottle? Yeah, well, yeah. Go to M S this year, lads. They've got the um. Glitter gin stuff, light up thing. I'll show you it when I'm home. I'll show you it when at home. This looks scary. This also looks scary. This also looks scary. Do you like that, Mum? Not really. Oh, this is. No, this is cool. Wow. So I made it at school, Mummy. Oh my god, you can dress him up in different outfits. She's got a house coat, look. Alright, elf. Elf! Oh, you've already got one of them, haven't you? Naughty elf! <laughs> no, naughty elf! Are you going to um, hide around the house again this year? What the hell is that? That looks fucking scary. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.